Bonjour les enfants, this is letter O E L lessons, uh, uh, the schedule lessons uh, video for helping for certain newcomers and certain who uh, doesn't understand the things. There's a special pronoun called on in French, O and on. We have many meaning for that. People, we, you, they, he, she, like that. It depends upon the situation. And usage more often in spoken French we use this on, and uh, with suggestion prepositions, uh, propositions. Sorry, so suggestions and propositions we use when we want to we shall we like that we use this on form. Conjugation in verb uh, we when we conjugate this, but even though it means people we you they he she like that, when we conjugate it belongs to the conjugation uh, conjugate of verb. Uh, with related to il, el, and uh, the one the conjugation meaning is like this, but conjugation belongs to il, el form. That means e, e, s, e. E is the ending for uh, the verb when you have the pronoun on. So we we'll see uh, some uh, examples. Il joue au cricket. He plays cricket. El joue au cricket. On joue au cricket. On also ju here e because it belongs to the uh, third category. Meaning depends upon the situation, but belongs to the third category of endings of the er. What are the endings? E, e, s, e. So third category is e. So in questions, for example, on joue au basket, on joue au basket, shall we play basketball? In sentence, you can use this. Il pleure. On regarde un film sur l'ordinateur. Il pleure. On regarde un film. Le film sur l'ordinateur. It is raining. We shall or we can watch the film on computer. They're supposed to go to a cinema to watch, but it's raining. You can give suggestions. On regarde le film sur l'ordinateur. It is raining. We shall uh, watch a film on computer. Now we will consider most important two things. That is, there's activity exterior. There's activity exterior means exterior activities. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to give a suggestion, how to uh, tell a statement, then how to uh, ask a, or give a suggestion related to a activity uh, related to a sport. Now look at this example. Il fait beau. On joue au volley. Il fait beau. On joue au volley. It's a fine weather. Shall we play volleyball? Il fait beau. On joue au volley. Like that. So you have the OEL first exercise. Il fait beau. On joue au basket. On joue au cricket. You can write that. Il fait beau. On joue au uh, netball. On joue au uh, golf. Likewise, any sport you can use for this. Il fait beau means it's a fine weather. It's a fine weather. Shall we? play basketball. It's a fine way that shall we play golf according to the sport meaning uh, depends. Then that is the first exercise, a simple exercise. Then OEL exercise 2 you have write two sentences with suggestions and with your knowledge which you have acquired. So you can write normally uh, clearly you can write il fait because it's the best statement you can tell before the suggestion. Il fait beau on joue au uh, cricket. Il fait beau. On joue au baseball. Il fait beau. On joue au uh, basket. Il fait beau. On joue au tennis. Il fait beau. On joue au golf. Likewise. Next, we will consider about des activités d'intérieur. Des activités d'intérieur. Des activités d'intérieur means interior activities. That means inside what are the activities we can do. So there are some suggestions. Uh, some uh, in some indicative forms are there. Uh, écouter de la musique to listen to some music. Regarder un film to watch a film. Regarder un film to watch a film. Rester à la maison, to stay at home. Jouer sur l'ordinateur, to play on computer. Jouer aux cartes, to play cards. Jouer aux échecs, 
to play chess, travailler à la maison, to work at home. Écouter de la musique, regarder un film, rester à la maison, jouer sur l'ordinateur, jouer aux cartes, jouer aux échecs, travailler à la maison. So these are some uh, uh, interior activities. So now we will observe how to tell a statement and a suggestion. Il pleut. On joue à la maison. It is raining outside. So shall we play at home? Il pleut. On reste à la maison. It's raining. Shall we? Uh, we shall stay at home. So you can affirmative form if you write. Not question form is called affirmative form if you write. It's like we shall stay at home. We will stay at home likewise. If it's in a question, better in English its similarity is shall. Il pleut. On joue à la maison. It's raining. Shall we play at home? Il pleut. On reste à la maison. It's raining. We shall stay at home. Then OEL exercise 3, you have to fill up this one. Il fait mauvais on what is coming. Regarde un film sur l'ordinateur. Il fait mauvais. On regarde un film sur l'ordinateur. Il y a du brouillard. On joue aux cartes, AUX, cartes, à la maison. So, those spellings previously you can see. Then you have OEL exercise 4, proposer des activités d'intérieur. That's now a little bit you have to think about writing your own creative sentences. So, you can take the help of the previous knowledge. Then we will gradually went for filling up blanks. Now, a little bit more we are going to step. It's a, f a step by step progression for this exercise. So, so I uh, wrote it, program it according to that for your convenience. Il pleure, you can tell, on joue aux cartes à la maison. Il pleure, on regarde un film. Il fait mauvais, uh, on joue aux échecs. Il pleure, you can write here, il pleure. On écoute de la musique à la maison. Then you can write your suggestion. Il y a du brouillard. On regarde un film à la maison. Uh, il fait mauvais. Then you can tell a suggestion. What are the suggestions we have? Il fait mauvais. On joue sur l'ordinateur. On joue sur l'ordinateur. Il fait mauvais. On joue sur l'ordinateur. Question mark. Uh, or affirmative form you can use without a question also you can use you to propose a statement like that. Il fait mauvais uh, on joue sur l'ordinateur. Il fait mauvais on joue sur l'ordinateur. So question mark one or affirmative form both you can apply to tell the uh, statement. Right. The next one is envoyé de conversation. So it it's really difficult for me because of the, all the lessons I wanted to summarize into certain limited content. So, content I have already given. Please refer the, read the document and see everything written there. Uh, this explication video also, please watch over and over again and get the idea. And Monte de Conversation, we are going to consider this more in French uh, in future. Uh, full lesson will be there about different different conversation how to read it how to pronounce it all very important that is very uh, very much influencing for your second uh, unit test because in the second unit test, there are 15 marks given for the listening part uh, so that to get 15 out of 15 you should have a good ear you should listen to that things very well uh, so you have to practice the things so and one today conversation we see create conversations Salut, ça va? Oui, ça va. Quel temps fait-il à Toulouse? Il fait chaud, mais il pleut. Et qu'est-ce que tu fais? Je reste à la maison. Et toi? Moi, je joue au golf.